viewers i hope you all are doing great welcome back to our youtube channel the engineering projects in our previous tutorial we learned how to interface a peripheral led with raspberry pi pico module and also to make that led blink using micro python programming language so continuing with our previous tutorial today we will learn how to change the brightness of uh, led again using the raspberry pi pico module and micro python programming language in case of a led blinking program the output of a digital pin is either high or low or you can say it is either zero or one but in case of brightness control the digital output varies between zero and one so there are multiple steps between these two states 0 and 1 so in such applications a technique is used which is called pulse width modulation now before moving towards the programming part let's first understand the concept of pulse width modulation pwm or pulse width modulation is a technique used to control the power delivered to a load or a peripheral device without causing any power losses by pulsating the DC current and varying the on time of the digital output pulse. The behavior of a PWM signal depends upon three factors that is the frequency, duty cycle and resolution. Frequency represents the number of cycles taken in one second. The second factor is the duty cycle which represents the time for which a digital pulse is high and the third factor that is the resolution represents the number of maximum steps a signal can take while reaching from zero to its maximum value. Now let's have a look at Raspberry Pi Pico's pinout. So here we can see that there are 40 exposed pins which includes the power supply pins, ADCs, PWM, GPIOs, etc. There are total 30 GPIO pins and all of them are PWM capable. The PWM pins are represented in 8 slices or 8 groups and each slice further contains 2 PWM pins. So in total there are 16 PWM channels in Raspberry Pi Pico and each channel is independent of the other which means each channel can be programmed individually at any time and we can also use all the PWM pins at any time. Now let's move towards the programming part. We are using Thony IDE for programming purpose. We already posted a tutorial on how to install Thony IDE for Raspberry Pi Pico programming using MicroPython programming language. You can find the link in the description. Open the Thony IDE. Connect your Raspberry Pi Pico board with your system. Click on this micro python for Raspberry Pi Pico icon from the lower right corner and select the micro python for Raspberry Pi Pico. Now in the shell section you should see this micro python version which means that Thony is ready to program the Raspberry Pi Pico board. Let's start writing the program. So the first task is importing the necessary library files. From machine we are importing two libraries. First one is pin and second is pwm pin file is responsible for allowing the user to access the gpio pins and pwm is to implement the pulse width modulation and second is import time for delay pin next we are declaring an led object so here we are using this 
GPIO 14 as a PWM pin. So after declaring the object, we need to declare the frequency at which the pulse width modulation will take place. Let's say 1000 Hz or 1 kHz. Now to change the brightness of LED, continuously we are using the while loop and inside while loop we are using for loop to set the duty cycle. So the resolution is from 0 to maximum value that is 65535. This is to increase the brightness of LED from 0 that is minimum to maximum value. Now to decrease the LED brightness we are using one more for loop. to change the LED brightness from maximum to minimum value that is 65535 to 0 now save the program click on this icon so we can save either on this computer or Raspberry Pi Pico let's select this computer and save with a name and use dot pi extension so pwm dot pi save so now we are ready to test the program click on this run icon now you should see the brightness of the led connected with raspberry pi pico board varying from minimum to maximum value back and forth this is the setup we prepared for the demonstration of LED brightness control with Raspberry Pi Pico module. So here we are using an LED which is connected to GPIO 14 through this resistor and the negative leg of the LED is connected to the ground pin. So now let's run the program. So you can see the brightness of LED varying from minimum to maximum value and then again to zero. We can also visualize the PWM output on Thony IDE. For that, uh, we are using this print command, print the duty cycle for increasing brightness and then again for decreasing one. Go to view and then enable this plotter option for graphical representation. Save the program and click on run icon. So now you can see the PWM output in this shell section and also the graphical representation in plotter. Now let's take another example. So as we mentioned earlier that ESP32 offers 8 PWM slices or groups and each slice further contains 2 PWM channels. So in total we have 16 PWM channel available at any given time. So now let's interface 16 peripheral LEDs with Raspberry Pi Pico board and then we will implement the pulse width modulation for brightness change on these 16 LEDs. So in programming part, the most of the instructions will remain same. We do not need to import any extra library file. So what we need to do is we have to define more LEDs like if this is LED 1 and then LED 2 and similarly up to LED 16. So we have to create 16 LED objects for different PWM pins.
selecting the pins whichever pin you want to use so next is this led object we are printing so it's not compulsory but if you want to uh, if you need the details of a particular led that which channel or slice the led belongs then you can use the one and next thing is defining the frequency so here in our previous example we were setting the pwm frequency for a single led but here we need to set for all of them so we are creating a function let's delete this define led frequency and then a, an argument as x So here we define the frequency for 16 different LEDs. Now let's call the function that is LED frequency and set the value. Let's keep it 1000 Hz or 1 kilohertz. Next thing is to change the brightness in while loop. So here we are using for loop similar to the previous example. And now what we need to change is the LED pin. So for LED underscore 2 dot sixteen and then beauty. And similarly for all sixteen PWM pins. And the similar thing to decrease the LED brightness. Underscore one. Okay. So here you can see the 16 peripheral LEDs connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico board and each GPIO pin is PWM capable to which the LEDs are connected. Now let's run the code. Now you can see the brightness change in the LEDs from minimum to maximum value and then again back to zero so this concludes the tutorial we hope you found this of some help and also hope to see you soon with a new tutorial on raspberry pi pico programming Till then, goodbye.